Hi, I'm Eric Word Weaver Shervin, Goldie of the Ridgar Folk here in East Texas. I'd like to welcome you to the Raven's Call. This is a show where I go through and I talk about some heathen related subjects. Sometimes I ramble on about more advanced things. Sometimes I go through and do a little heathenry 101 kind of stuff. Uh, this one's a little bit more on the 101 side, but I'd like to discuss the saying, We are our deeds. This is a subject that I think is extremely important in heathenry today. I think it actually forms kind of the core basis of a lot of the, at least a key element to heathen ethics. It's not the entirety of it. I could do an entire series of videos on heathen ethics in and of itself. But the basis of we are our deeds is that we can only judge others by their actions, by what we actually see, by what they show us. And others can only judge us by our actions and what we show them, okay? Um, for example, you can tell me all day long that you're a good, honest, true man, but if your actions show me that you are a liar, a cheat, and that you cannot be trusted, I have to trust your actions because words can lie. Words are ephemeral, words aren't real. Um, they have real effects. It's more complicated than that. But the gist is, actions are very real. When you do something, it is recorded into the well. It takes something from the abstract possibility of thought and transitions it into action. Now, words themselves are deeds. The actual act, I see a deed as a willful act. Something that you do purposefully with thought behind it. Okay? Even if it's impulsive, even if you just jump out there, whatever, you willfully made a choice to act. And in that, that becomes a deed. Okay? That is something you have to take responsibility for because it found its origin within you. Now, words themselves are deeds because you make the active choice to speak. Just because something's going on in your head doesn't necessarily mean it has to come out. So, standing up and calling somebody out, calling somebody out of their name, insulting someone. Uh, these are deeds. These are actions with real consequences. Just as much as, you know, walking up and punching someone in the face is an action that's going to have some very real consequences. Uh, walking up and, you know, calling someone's wife something very inappropriate is most likely going to get some of those very unfortunate consequences brought upon you. So. People can only judge us by our deeds, by our actions. And here's where in the words play in, because if you speak untruly of your intents and your actions, then you will be known as a liar, because what you have done is lied. If you steal, you will be known as a thief. If you hurt people, you will be known as a brigand. If you, if you, if you take advantage of people, that's what you will be known for. Just like if you are kind to people, you will be known for that. If you are trustworthy, if you are honorable, you will be known for that. If you are forever late to something, you will be known for that. If you're always there for people in the end, you will be known for that. It's what we do that people remember, and that's what's important in life. So, keep in mind, we are our deeds. As you go through life, as you do things, deeds, you are writing your own saga. You are putting actions and words into the well of weird that will be remembered because this is your weird. This will be Orlog and this will inform and fuel future generations. No one acts in a vacuum. Uh, in ancient heathen times, the Sib, or the immediate family unit, was the smallest indivisible unit of, uh, of society. Nobody acted as an individual. You acted as a representative of your Sib, as your family, or as a representative of the larger family, the clan, the tribe, etc., etc., etc. just depends on the area and the particular social structure there. Uh, but your deeds not only impacted how people saw you, but how people saw your family how people saw your tribe. And to this day, this remains true. Tribe remains an active part of our lives. Whether or not you have built a heathen tribe around you is irrelevant. If you work for a company, a company is in and of itself a form of tribe. And 
what you see then is that your actions as an employee reflect upon the company. Your actions as, say, a son or a daughter reflect upon the, pa- the family. Your actions as an employee reflect upon the company. Your actions as a representative of your tribe, say as Goli of the Ridgar folk, reflect upon the tribe. If I go out and I act untowards, then I have responsibility to my work, where I am in a supervisory role, I'm an administrator, and uh, that does carry weight and that will impact the overall reputation for my company. I'm responsible to the Shervin clan to treat the name well, for it was a gift to me from my ancestors. Uh, It's a gift to me from my father and my mother. And uh, what I do with it is up to me, but trust me, I'd rather return it shinier than I received it. I don't want to tarnish it on my watch. Everything I do as Goli of the Ridgar folk reflects upon my folk. So, the gist is, think about your actions. There are consequences. There are repercussions, and they're very real, and they're very much a part of the social contract. I don't care what you think as far as, you know, whether or not you think this society is a great thing, whether or not you think you're going to play along with it, um, whatever. It's what you do that matters. If you go out and you say all day long, well, oh, I don't think that this country is that great. I don't think that it's, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can talk. Fine. Okay. Go on with it. Freedom of speech. We can do that. Um, but if you go out and you act upon it, well, then suddenly that changes the game. See what I'm saying? So as you go through life, think about your actions. Think about your intentions. Think about why you do things. Okay? Again, I cannot judge you by what's in your head. You know, all around my office here, I've got stanzas from the Havamala. And this is one of my favorites. It's stanza 95. Stanza 95. This is from the Hollander translation. It says... One's self only knows what is near one's heart. Each reads but himself aright. No sickness seems to sound mind worse than to lose all liking for life. One of the key things here is that I can't know what's inside your head. And it's up to you to make sure that you maintain what you need to be happy in life and to enjoy life. And let me tell you, if your actions don't jive with your intentions and your values, you are going to have a hard road which is going to lose that loving of life in the long run because you're gonna make things a lot harder for yourself than they need to be. Keep in mind, we are our deeds. We are what we show people we are. And if you want to be better than you are today, then ask yourself, what are your deeds telling people? What are your deeds showing? Because that's what you are. If you want to be better, be better. Nobody's perfect. Nobody can be. But if there's something you're working towards and you want to be able to tell people, I am this, I am that, do it. You know? There's an old adage of fake it to make it. (laughs) Guess what? That's actually real. Uh, The fake it to make it mentality is that as long as you try and you push towards it, eventually you will approximate and then achieve your goal. You just do it. Stop thinking, stop saying, stop planning. Do it. You know, you want to build towards a better future, then start building towards a better future. Keep making the plan as you go along, adjust the plan, fly with it, roll with it. But by the gods, get out there and just do it. Be a doer. Just be careful about what you do. That's what people are going to see. That's what people are going to remember. So, without rambling on any further, I'm going to keep this one a little bit shorter. So, remember, we are our deeds. Show people who you really are. Because that's who you will be. Hey, have a good day. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, maybe shoot a comment down in the section below. Somewhere on the side here, I don't know, I'm going to add it and post. You're going to see links to other videos on my site. Give them a look, see what you got. Uh, poke around a little bit. There might be something that you, uh, you enjoy. 
Now, there's also a Facebook group called Word-Weaver Productions. It's Word Weaver Productions. Um, just search it up on Facebook. You'll find me. It is an open group. Join in. This is where I get a lot of information from you guys. This is where I, I learn what does and doesn't work. Uh, it's honestly kind of how I got came into the whole microphone setup that I have to improve the audio quality on these videos. Uh, you will also find links to my videos up there. Uh, you'll also find links to my other show, Weaving Words, where I uh, explore the art of storytelling and share some of my favorite tales uh, from, from old and some from new. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy that. In the meantime, hail. Have a good day.